guys, what is up? Welcome back to the show. It's Speakers Lab. The gang is back. Guys, we're back here today and we're gonna check out the newest update in Clash of Clans for really the first time. I mean, I'm not kidding about this, guys. I have not seen any of this stuff until today and I'm pretty psyched about it. Oh! <laughs> Isn't this crazy, guys? Okay, so this does not even look like something from Clash. To me, it looks like something from another game that's not Clash. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying it looks almost more cartoonish, right? One of the things I was wondering is, how are they gonna do this? Because Town Hall 12, the actual Town Hall itself, was a weapon. So what were they gonna do with Town Hall 13? Were they just gonna continue that and make it a giant Tesla? Were they going to use the Tesla and something else? What was gonna happen? Was it gonna become a, like a giant Tesla and machine gun and like a bunch of other stuff? You guys wanna check it out? <laughs> you guys wanna see what it does? Hang on. <laughs> oh my God, guys, I love that so much. I mean, it's the obvious progression, right? Of course this was coming. Of course it was. Like the biggest thing on Town Hall 9 was Teslas. And the biggest thing on Town Hall 10 was Infernos. And that's exactly what we had here. Town Hall 12 did the Tesla thing. Town Hall 13 is doing the Inferno thing. It's just like a natural progression. It makes sense. And I, I, I'm worried that it's not gonna be as good as the Giga Tesla thing from Town Hall 12, which was crazy good, as you guys know. But I guess we're gonna find out. Let's check it out. Hey, so you know what make a lot of sense is dropping an ice golem. Let's see what this dude does. So if you guys can't tell already, like it's a multi inferno, at least the one we have here. I don't know if there's options or not, but I just kind of want to check this out, dude. I mean, this is exactly like the Giga Tesla, just an inferno. You know, the Giga Tesla was really annoying because it, it could shoot multiple troops. So if you had a bunch of bats coming in, they were dead. If you had a bunch of hogs coming in, they were dead. And you know, this is so similar to that. Let's drop some of these. Oh, okay, so it can do a lot. Oh, it was frozen, that was dumb. <laughs> I wanted to see how many beams it had because like a normal Inferno has five beams, right? Anyway, what's up with the Wiz? Boom, boom, boom. Oh man, they can't even get a shot off. That's so cool. That's so cool. Awesome, man. Hey, anyway, let's see what happens when this thing goes down. That should take it down, right? We get a Valco in the back there. That was cool. That was cool. That looked like a really dirty bomb. And that was only level one. Whew. All right, guys, let's look at a couple more levels of this. I, I actually figured, why don't we look at the stats? I didn't even look at the stats when it said level one, but what we got here is 225 damage per second. That's crazy. For, for perspective, I think a normal Inferno is like a hundred, maybe even less. I mean, okay, f with an Inferno, you got two or three of them, so it it's different, but still, I think this is pretty high level. Let, let's check it out. Okay, so why don't we put this totally normal, totally ordinary king right here and see what he does. Yo, he looks smoother. Huh, anybody else notice that? He looks kind of smoother. Maybe not. You know what this is gonna be good for though? All right, wait until the, the town hall dies and then we can see how much damage this thing actually does when it blows up. It was something. It was definitely something. I mean, it wasn't, you know, an incredible amount, but it was something. Huh, cool. All right guys, so let's see if we do a ton of little troops. We'll do wall breakers because that's what we have. What does it do? Like how fast can it go through those? Let's check it out. Oh crap, I forgot to activate it, dang. <laughs> that was dumb. All right, hang on, we'll do it again. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be pretty OP, I feel like. Okay, it's tough to say because the Town Hall 12 was so rugged already, and you know, it's hard to compare them because they're both gonna be pretty OP, I feel like, but. This seems pretty intense at the same time. All right, um, you know, I think I think the one way around this thing is gonna be ice golems. Ice golems are the best, and this is really gonna be a good way because look, okay, can it even get those now? It can only get one at a time, which is gonna help a lot. So there you go, right there. If you have at least one ice golem in the middle, it's gonna help a lot, for sure. But it's the same thing with an inferno. I mean, it's same idea. Cool. Get it, get it. Okay, so I wanna see something actually 
Okay, okay, okay. I want to see some stuff actually get blown up by this, so I'm going to drop some giants. Okay, so it took down half of a giant, basically. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. How much is a giant? It's like uh, 1,400 health or something. So, I don't know, say seven or 800. That's crazy. Cool. All right, guys. So, again, we'll be coming back and doing a lot of stuff with this in the near future. I just wanted to get in here today and check it out. So, obviously, we got this upgraded now. <laughs> 300 damage per second is wild. But the, the damage when destroyed is 1,000. That's basically like... um almost a giant. So, you, you know, you're gonna take out a low level giant, just boom, done. And some of the other stuff is, is crazy too. See how it says effect duration? Okay, I didn't even know what that was talking about at first. And then you look at the bottom and it says, it will blast the town hall to bits in a freezing explosion that slows everything around it for a time. You're joking, right? Are you trying to? This is so cool though. Even if you get through the town hall and you use your warden ability and so the bomb doesn't kill you, you're still gonna get slowed down. It's almost like a direct, you know, counter for that. It's so crazy. That's so cool. Oh, I forgot to activate it. Hang on. I was like, where are you going, bud? Oh, there we go. Oh man, this is so dirty. All right, let's see how fast I can go through these. <laughs> so I think just because it had um, the ice golem there, it did. Didn't do as good, but man, that looks so cool. So cool. All right, guys, so let's do the king. A couple of these guys, ladies, whatever. Um, king ability. Dope. Oh, 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 there's the freezing. Oh my God. So we just saw it, guys. That was crazy. Huh. Look, this is going to take a lot of work to even understand all this stuff, but I think we got a little bit of an idea so far and uh, hey, it's better than nothing, man. This is this is cool. All right, guys, so I was almost going to just finish the video and be like, okay, we're done. But there's one more thing we've got to check out. We've got to actually see that slow down mechanic. Okay, so I figure, why don't we just drop the king? Totally normal. Um, let's see what he can do. All right, so let's keep an eye on this. I want to see how much he gets slowed down and like how it behaves. Oh, okay. But what if we hit the king ability now? Man, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I mean, it seemed like the king ability normally speeds him up a little bit, gets, gets him going a little bit. It seemed like he was still affected, but the barbs weren't. So it sort of you know, was it was a tr even trade off almost, but that was cool. That was really cool. And of course, just like the Giga Tesla, that thing is just going to shred any little troop anyway. So who cares? Anyway, guys, I guess that's it for today. Thank you for coming out. We love you guys. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Leave two for Lulu. Lulu, how you doing, bud? We got to go have some dinner. Uh, it's getting late here, guys. But again, thank you for coming out. If you guys want to know more about this update as it comes out, oh, we'll be doing every sneak peek. And if there's not sneak peeks like tomorrow or the next day or whatever, we're just going to get on here and, and talk about what we already know. You know, we can mess around with this developer build. We can just see more of this update because it's kind of a thing where you really got to just mess with it physically, you know, try things before you really understand, because I can look at the stats all day. It doesn't mean anything to me. I really got to like see it in action. So anyway, if you guys are the same, tune in tomorrow. We'll be doing more no matter what happens. So uh, also, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please do join the gang. We love you guys. We'll see you next time right here on Beaker's Lab. Peace.